Contrary to the title, Spiderhead is not about an arachnid giving oral. That probably would have been a much more interesting movie. Chris Hemsworth and Miles Teller star in this thriller, mystery, horror. I, I don't really know what to categorize it. Boring. Boring is what it's categorized under. I watched this last night with my wife on a whim. We saw it was trending on Netflix. I assume it's a Netflix exclusive. That's where I exclusively watched it, so that's as far as I'll go with that. And it was only an hour and 45 minutes long, so I thought, well, shit. This is much shorter than the usual two and a half hour films we've been seeing lately. Let's give it a go. Here is the plot in a prison cell. In the near future, convicts are given the opportunity to become lab patients getting tested in a remote facility out in the middle of nowhere, I guess is the definition of remote. So that was kind of redundant. They're fitted with drug packs that contain different chemicals. Each one of these agents gives off a different vibe. And these different mood swings the patients receive are all controlled in a nice pretty app right on the phone of the lead character, Chris Hemsworth. It's like ecstasy magnified to a thousand. That's what I'm told, I've never done ecstasy. No one's ever offered me any. I suppose you have to leave the house in order to get that offer. <laughs> what is my life? Anyway, Miles Teller is in this too. He plays down on his luck convict Jeff, who's trying to unwrap the mystery going on inside of this facility. These type of movies annoy the living shit out of me because they're shot well, they have a fun soundtrack that's kind of out of place to be honest. Some of the songs from the 80s that are fantastic just feel like they're just splatted right on top and they don't go with the scene at all. Uh, the whole movie is wildly discombobulated. It doesn't know what the hell kind of film it's supposed to be. Is it a quirky dark comedy? Is it an action adventure? I mean, it's all over the place. The final third is laughably bad. And back to what I was saying though, these type of movies piss me off because they seem very competent, well-produced pictures, but the story is just ass. So you invest this time, hoping that at some point an aha moment is gonna be reached, or the table is gonna flip over, or there's gonna be a big reveal on the other side of the curtain, but instead it lulls you into submission as nothing of consequence happens. Once it hit the 50 minute mark, I thought, oh God, no, we're past the point to no return. Nothing has happened yet to make me go, yep, this is a movie we should have definitely watched. And like I said, the last 20 minutes, the thing is just a shell of its former self even. The cool music is gone. The playfulish vibe is taken away. And all that's left is a really lame B-movie action film. There's nothing really else to say. I wish I had spoilers I could even bother wanting to talk about, but the film is very straightforward. It's like, mystery, Miles Teller solves, they run away. The end? Yeah, th thanks. Thanks for that. That's my review of Spiderhead. No spiders, no head. Just a bad movie. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Did you waste your time getting through this? Did you have a different experience and thought, wow, this is really captivating stuff. I love everything I'm seeing. I'd love to hear all of it in the comments below. Maybe think about subscribing if you haven't. I post tons of movie and TV show related content here each and every week. Would love to have you join and hopefully I'll see you next time. If you're wondering why it's called Spiderhead, it's because that's the name of the prison compound they're at. That's it. There's probably some further deeper meaning to it. Well, then again, maybe not, because this movie doesn't have really anything exciting or interesting to talk about. Anyway, since you're still here, maybe think about joining me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. I run this channel alone, so any extra help I could get would be great. Just say, hey, Adam, here's a dollar a month. Keep doing it. Or here's 10 bucks. You could also be a member right here on YouTube via the join button, so you can just stay here, hit that thing, and continue to watch videos. I appreciate it.